I steal from the best. That's my secret. When you try oh so hard, you slowly die before you start. But you come on down so I can wish you well. You call it love, some call it When I ask Jeff Emmerich about how the hell did you get that piano sound on Lady Madonna? And Jeff's an open book. Most engineers are. They'll tell you anything and everything. That's great. I steal from the best. That's my secret. I see George Massenberg or Peter Asher or, or Joe Ciccarelli or whoever. There's a lot of great guys. I see what they do. And I think I'm going to try that because I really love that sound. I really, really love it. And Jeff Emmerich, I said, how'd you get the Lady Madonna piano sound? And he goes, well, it was easy. One mic. Really? One mic. And I always thought it was an upright, but it was seven footer. It was a C7. They took a D19C, an AKG mic, kind of like the English version of the SM57, kind of a workhorse. Put it in this hole, compressed the hell out of it with either a Fairchild or a BA6A or a BA86 or maybe a maybe an Altec. Compressed the hell out of it and 2.7K to taste. So the next day I had a session. I did my two U M49s, which I always do, low and high. And I usually have a mono U47 on the piano. And I run them through Telefunk and Mike Prees because I really think they sound the best that way. And I did the D19 instead of the 47. When I put it into the headphones, a blend of the 249s and the, the D19, the piano player went, what in the world is that? He goes, I love that. It made him play better. And I thought to myself, okay, I've had a Fairchild or a BA6A, which is what I used, I think. And I've, had, I've got 25 D19s laying around. And I never thought to do that. And why didn't I think of that? Because, I mean... I love this sound, and why didn't I think of that, you know? But I didn't. I went the safe way. I took really great quality mics, and I put them in there, and I used great mic pre's. And did I need to EQ a little? Yeah, a little. I used a little EQ, not a lot, because, you know, you can hear EQ. And it doesn't sound natural, generally speaking. So I don't like to use EQ unless I have to. So I used a little EQ, and I had a great piano sound. But that's what it sounded like, a piano. It didn't have the urgency that that Lady Madonna piano has, you know, that, that sound. And of course, obviously, the player makes a huge difference, too. You have to have the right players. But um, stay creative. That's very important. And microphones are the key to life, as I've said. The right mic on the right input, the magic happens, and all of a sudden you're not using compression and you're not using EQ and you're not having to do this or that because you found this great combination.